Start with one produce bag and roll it in on itself. Continue to do the same with the three other produce bags. Secure the outer net to one of the metal clasps on the end of the netting. Now you have a DIY scrub daddy for tough dishes. Take one to two old washcloths, lay them flat, trace the border of the circles four times, cut out each shape individually, take a microfiber towel and do the same thing. Take two of the washcloth circles and put them right side in and secure right side in to each other. Leave an opening that is about three fingers wide. Flip the right side out and then add fabric cut for the interior into this dish pad. Hand sew the rest of the pad closed. There you have it, a cheap way to create your own DIY dish cleaning items using upcycled materials. What do you do when you need a tiny bag? Well, you take a little cloth napkin and iron, put that on top of your bigger Ziploc bag, and that's going to seal it at the bottom. Then you can put your little carrots inside, and then you're going to just grab some scissors and then trim off the end, and you have a perfect little snack bag. You don't need any clips. You're going to take it and fold it over, flip your bag over, and start rolling it down just a little bit at a time flip it back over and you're going to see those little ends that were still left from your triangle and you're going to fold those over and that seals it you have a knife and it's dull and you don't have a sharpening stone what do you do you can grab a ceramic cup flip it over and you can sharpen it right there and you have a totally totally sharp knife so you're going to grab a little tupperware put the lid on you're going to shake it up and shake it up just enough that it's hitting the sides look it totally slid off because it's been loosened by going back and forth against the sides of your tupperware you're going to grab some ceram wrap and roll it out on your table and then grab four skewers and then you're gonna grab two eggs and butt them up against each other and start rolling the eggs towards the skewers and the goal is to get the skewers to be evenly spaced all the way around and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab something to tie it off pull those tight so then you're gonna put this in the fridge for about 15 minutes and then you're gonna take off your little binding that you have around it and unroll the surround wrap and we're going to cut these into what do you think little flowers how cute is that and they would be so cute on a charcuterie board or even to put in a lunch for your kids put our countertop grab a curtain rod and two heavy duty command hooks measure the placement for the two command hooks and hang the rod at your desired height arrange everyday items like K-cups, mugs, pictures, or plants using S-hooks on the rod. Let's start organizing inside your cabinets. Press this onto the cabinet door in this case and hold for 10 seconds. Now your oven mitts, holders, and silicone mats are ready to be stored. If you ever change your mind, you can easily remove the hanger simply by pushing up and taking it off. I chose to replace the first hanger with this metal hook. I replaced the oven mitts with a cooling rack and a pan guard that fit just as perfect in this spot. Are you always losing your measuring utensils? Simply place a clear command hook on the outside of an airtight container and you'll always have your measuring utensils right at hand. I use mine for baking supplies. Simply take a large command hook and press it all the way to the left of the cabinet door. Then take your paper towel and measure to size. Firmly press down on the command hook, securing it to the opposite side of the cabinet door. Take a piece of string and run it through the middle of the paper towel holder and simply hang it on your two new command hooks. It's as easy as that. Already have a place to store your paper towels? Simply take off the paper towel roll from your two command hooks and replace it with a plastic shopping bag. Here's a simple storage solution for all your recyclable bags. If you didn't already know, the little tabs on the side of your saran wrap or tin foil are meant to be pressed in to lock the roll in place. Using a command hook, simply stick the prong through the hole and press it firmly on your surface. I chose the side of my refrigerator. We're gonna start with a baking pan and we're gonna fill it with a bunch of marbles. I need to remove the back off the glue dots and then peel off the backing. And I'm gonna place it onto the bottom of the baking sheet. I'm gonna flip them back over. As you can see here, this swivels really nicely. I'm gonna take a cooling rack. I'm gonna bend up either side. Now I'm gonna tip those cooling racks up and I'm going to tie the top of the cooling racks together as well as the bottom. I'm gonna place the glue dots onto the baking sheet. Take those cooling racks and I'm gonna stick them onto the glue dots and I'm gonna press firmly to make sure they adhere well. And I hope this inspires you to make your own Dollar Tree Lazy Susan.